So if you're watching this, then you're in the right place. We're actually going to talk about how to secure an IT job without a prior experience, which is actually very important. So if you're in a country like Nigeria, you could actually understand better and know that companies request for like five years, six years, seven years of experience. I mean, as a newbie, how do you get that? That's really funny. So if you're here watching this and you needed to have tips, maximum, maximum knowledge on how to secure a job without prior experience, here is how I'm actually going to give you a walkthrough. Imagine a German company asking you for five years of future experience and and Fluza launched in 2018. That's quite unrealistic, you know. So it's actually very important for us to know that there are amazing ways, key elements that you can and you can actually have and steps you can take for you to secure a job without having one year, two years, or even few months of experience. So if you're here, you're excited about this. Stay around and I'll be right back. So welcome back. So we're actually going to talk about five key elements on how to secure a job without prior experience and IT job without prior experience. So it's actually very important for you to know that um, IT jobs are actually one of the amazing jobs out there right now. And you can actually catch out when you're actually working as a developer or as a software engineer, a product designer, a UI UX or backend frontend designer or whatever a field you find yourself in IT, you could actually make a lot of security job and make a lot of money. It's actually very important. So, uh, but yeah, you're just going to talk about how you can actually get started as a newbie and you don't have prior experience. So we're going to talk about five key elements. So let's get started. Number one, we're actually going to talk about education and certification. So uh, we all know that education is actually very important, but for IT job, it's not compulsory. Like it's not a must thing that you have to have uh, a BSc. Education is important. Yes, you go to school, but having a BSc, I mean the graduate level, is not necessity. So you could actually give examples of guys like Facebook, um, or Max Zuckerberg, or um, Microsoft, uh, Bill Gates, and all that. So that didn't actually finish school and they actually doing so amazing well. But it's actually very important too, if you don't have a prior experience in, you know, IT jobs now are getting more competitive. So it's actually good to have basic uh, education and you could actually share it with, with your when you're applying and you could actually give you a better advantage to an IT job. So in other education also are certifications. So certifications is actually another amazing thing you actually acquire or give you an edge over other candidates basically. So you could actually add some to uh, places like uh, the MOC, the, like Audacity, Coursera, Pluralsight, Field Code Camp and all the amazing um uh, platforms that you could actually learn and secure a lot of certifications so this course is this this certification is also it's not just about getting the certification alone i mean you get practical experience you know during the lessons you know they, you build a live project in some of them and it actually helps a lot so education is very important but it's not too compressory do you understand it's not that compressory if you have the skills with that education you can still get a job but if you have it too it's not an amazing option so here you go that's number one so the next one is practical experience so you can see that education connects with practical experience i talk about what you could actually learn when you're actually doing taking certifications and um, you could actually have prior skills in those platforms and all that so having practical experience is actually very important you're not just watching videos to learn you you for example you're learning in places like coursera udemy or the city they could actually help you with real life projects that you could actually build during your lesson phase it's just like having a practical experience too so you could build projects have practical experience on your own so don't know that learning is actually very amazing but Learning without building something or creating something is as good as you not learning enough. So you have to understand that when you're learning, you have to build something, build side projects, build uh, something for somebody, your friend or something, create something. 
when you're learning so that's how you get to have practical experience so when you're applying for jobs you could refer to a project you build maybe on GitHub or Heroku you deploy on Netlify you know this this amazing experience that you can have to your practical experience so you don't do it for anybody it's not a prior experience like company but you're doing it for yourself and it's a practical experience so it's quite amazing so you could actually have skills like um front end html css javascript build something like that depending on whatever field you actually want to dive into in the tech field or in the tech space you can achieve it that's it for the second element so what the third element create portfolio for yourself so this is actually what i used to tell my mentees basically that when you're learning you just don't um you just don't learn for learning's sake you learn to create something you learn to build something you know it's actually very important for you to build just like i was saying you can see that all the elements are connected you know it started with certifications you learn in certifications having a practical experience you're learning again and now creating a portfolio for yourself so creating a portfolio means you have something you could talk about during your interview stage Yes, you don't have a prior experience, but you have something you can talk about. So these are things you can talk about when you're building a project, like you create something, uh, a mini hub for deploying something or a hub, a hub generator. You could, you could do something. If you want to create a portfolio for yourself, you're going to consider different things. The first thing you're actually going to consider is creating mini projects for yourself, like testing projects, like you actually have to build something, mini something for yourself, it can be something fun or an idea you've been thinking about and you just want to create it. That's number one. By that way, you're creating mini portfolio for yourself. Another thing is building fun projects. Yes, you just want to build fun projects for for yourself, for your or a community you are in, the entire community or something you just want to play around to actually consider as whatever thing you actually want to do. So another thing is um, creating your personal portfolio website. It's actually very important for you to know that you have to create a, a portfolio, like what you, all your profiles, what you've been building, there are many projects, people can see what you have uh, been doing over the time. So I've been creating your own personal website, that is a portfolio for yourself too as well. So you have to embrace that. So another point you have to consider again is embracing free jobs. You have to understand that <laughs> you have to respect this of this beginning you're just learning and you really don't have prior experience that much or you don't know much people you're not being your network so and you want to have network nobody can really easily recommend jobs for you at the end last day so you can talk to your friend meet your friend hey hey i would like to build a, a, a website for your business for your company for your startup a, free an NGO you could take it all or a community project do you understand so embrace free jobs for friends family and have prior experience and people could see oh you built this thing they could recommend you more and once they're recommending you that means you're actually what you're getting more jobs and you're having more portfolios that means you're even having prior experience you know you're having prior experience without even getting a job yet that's actually very important so always make sure you embrace free jobs when you are actually in the beginning of a learning phase okay so you could build something like a portfolio you could be on gtop you could deploy them on netlify or Heroku. if you're a designer you could actually open it behind and and just do a side project for somebody you just create a portfolio for you for yourself and make sure you build a portfolio website alongside it so when you build a portfolio website you you call you bring everything together into one and you could actually share it that these are the expired experience you have during your learning phases and it's actually an amazing thing to talk about when you're actually securing a job or you're actually applying for a job without any prior experience the fourth one is embrace community engagement like volunteers is doing applying for a job and people to say oh you're having this to communities you know like communities in nigeria and for example we have communities like uh Conovation, for loop africa gdg google developers group 
handler learning community and all that so these amazing communities you could actually be a part of and you could have volunteer experience and you could talk about in your cv when you're applying for a job you don't have a prior experience but you contribute to community engagement and it's actually very important it's a head talk it could give you an edge ahead for the candidates so here is another amazing step for you to take if you're not started contributing to community or being a community or giving back to community at any stage it means a lot it has helped me i'm a living fitness and it's actually an amazing journey for me so far So stay on community, embrace contributing to open source. Uh, so uh, open source is actually a, a, a platform whereby you could actually get a lot of stuff people build and you get them for free with access. You could actually deploy your own tricky and all that. So making um, making a lot of amazing stuff available for you, uh, open source project, you could contribute to it and all that. So if you have some a friend building something, you can try to contribute and you have more or less like GitHub experience too, which is another experience they will require when you're securing for a job. So try to contribute to open source. It's actually very important. You can check out gtop.com to start contributing today. So finally, build a good network. It's actually very important, like personal connection with people. It could be friend, it could be family, it could even be on LinkedIn. Talk to people, reach out to people, you know, um sell yourself you know build a good relationship be humble and people could actually recommend you and say oh i know this person he's doing an amazing job he, he just a new people he's passionate about what he's doing so you have someone that could speak for you the person can even be a mentor through building a good personal connection with the person you know he will just tell you oh this person i know him i can actually uh stand for him you know this is an amazing job he has been passionate in the learning phases i know he's going to do well in whatever he's doing build a personal network with people and you're never gonna regret that so finally i'm actually going to give you extra tips which is building your online presence it's actually very important even during your learning phase when you're learning in the beginning make sure you Try to create something and share it on your social media. Yeah, as a developer, you know have to know that you have to be in Twitter community and on LinkedIn as a professional. So it's actually very important. So share your stuff on Twitter. You build small hub today. Share it. Let people see it. Share it on LinkedIn. You know, people will see what you're doing. You're doing a great thing. People can actually could speak for you. People can even the company can reach out to you. Oh, we see what you're doing. We see your your stuff you're creating for free and. We would like to hire you or we would like to get into interview phases you know that's another amazing stuff so when you build little things make sure it's better or you find something someone is building improve on it and share your own but make sure you give credit so it's actually very important so you share it on twitter share it on linkedin and people will see it i'm like wow this is good I, I would like you to come and work for this company the company can reach out to you so know that being online presence is actually very important and it can get to a job without prior experience so it's actually very important. So my final advice for you is that it might not really be easy. Make sure you keep applying, you never give up. And trust me, you're going to kill that job without any prior experience. So if you're watching this, yes, we have come to the end of another video. And if you're excited about it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Once again, make sure you comment on this video, drop your view, drop your feedback, like so that more people can see it. And again, you know, as usual, I can't wait to see you in my next video. Stay on code.